Good morning, Holy Sinai CME Church, and to all of you that are our families and friends. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And we're so glad and excited that you have decided to join us this morning. For we are here to sing a new song and to praise God for all of his goodness and many works. And so we want to invite you at this time. We want to invite you to join us as we go through this worshiping experience this morning. But indeed, God has been good to us. God has blessed us all week long. And I'm telling you, if you are watching us, think about this. This is May of 2021. And God has been blessing you and me and everybody else through the midst of this pandemic. God has brought us a mighty long way. And so I, I, I celebrate the fact that he has given us life this morning. Mm. Full and abundant life. So that's where we are this morning. So listen, chat us, let us know where you're watching us from. We love to read those things. We love to have people put in the chat box. I'm watching from Tennessee, I'm watching from Texas, or I'm watching from California, or I'm watching from Ohio, wherever you are. We thank God for you this morning. And as always, we're going to add that this, this powerful praise team will come right now and give us our opening selection at this time. Amen. Amen.
That's what I love. I love this praise team. Amen. Amen. They bring the passion with them, the energy. Amen. That we all sometimes need. Amen. Thank you so very much. At this time, I would ask those that are here and those that are watching us at home, if you would please stand at this time. If you would not mind standing at this time as we as we unite, I love that word, unite in this historic confession of the Christian faith. And as people of God, what do you believe? I believe in God the Father of my the maker of the heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ on the Son of God, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the Pilate's Father, was crucified, dead and dead. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended to heaven, and sat at the right hand of God the Father of my life. From Jesus Christ, the Queen of the Queen of I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the meaning of sin, the beginnings of sin, the resurrection of the body, the life of the life. Amen. You may be seated wherever you are. Amen. We thank God for you this morning. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, it is us. We are here, Lord Jesus. We are here and we are here with thanksgiving in our heart. <laughs> For you've been so good to us, Heavenly Father. And we simply cannot say enough. Lord, we just we just think back over the years how you've always been there. And we just think back to this week how you were there. But even this morning, Heavenly Father, then we will realize that there's no one, and I mean no one, that can do us like you. Lord, we pray now as we go into this worship experience that, that someone will begin to feel your presence as we do. We pray right now, Heavenly Father, that that question that have been asked will be answered today whether through the sermon or through song. And Lord, we we honor you, Heavenly Father, because you have given us life and you have given us your Son, Jesus, that we may have an opportunity at eternal life. And, and Lord, we don't even deserve it, but I thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for grace and mercy. And so, as we go into this worship experience, Lord, we, we ask you, just like David, Creating us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit inside of us right now, Lord Jesus. Do a mighty good work in us that you've already started a long time ago. But Lord, allow our hearts and our minds to, uh, to be open to what you're saying, that we may have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying in the time. Yes, yes. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for help. Thank you for healing power. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for just being God and being God all alone. Thank you for sitting high but looking low. <laughs> Thank you that we can experience your joy one more time. Lord, I pray right now, Heavenly Father, as always, that you continue to watch over our frontline workers and all of those that are doing things each and every day. Lord, I pray for those that are in the hospital right now, those that are watching right now, Heavenly Father. I pray, Lord, that they will get something today, Lord Jesus. That the spirit of expectation, Lord, will fall fresh on their life. And we know that you are on their side. This is our prayer today. In the name of Jesus. And in all of God, you can say amen. 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 We have another selection by this powerful praise team. Followed by that, we have our New Testament scripture reading for this morning in that order. Thank you. 
That gives it on so many levels. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but Lord, I lift your name on high. Amen. Because I got to thinking about that thing when they start playing. It sounds like candy girl, didn't it? <laughs> I said, Lord, how much? Then it went into another little rhythm. I said, man, the praying team is just growing by leaps and bounds. And I want to thank these powerful musicians over there. Hey, man, thank y'all. Thank y'all, Brother Wesley and Mr. Green and there. Thank y'all for pushing, pushing it and taking it up to another level. Hey, man. I, I mean, I feel have been on the first verse. Hey, man. Hey, man. But I praise God for this praise team. Amen. Thank you all so very much. The New Testament scripture reading this morning. The New Testament scripture reading this morning. The John 6. John 6. Um, 32 through 40. Our New Testament scripture reading for this morning. John 6. 32 through 40. And I will be reading from the King James Version. And it states, Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father gave you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I say unto you, that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father gives me shall come to me. And he that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast him out. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up. <laughs> Again, it's the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me. That everyone which seeth the Son and believeth in him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. The word of God for the people, God. Oh, thank you to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for that word. Amen. Thank you. That's all right. For announcement this morning, um, we we will not have a 6 p.m. call this afternoon. So um, we do not have a 6 p.m. update call this afternoon. So we hope and pray that you enjoy your Sunday afternoon. But please pay attention to your emails. There's a lot of things that's going to be happening in May. Um, third Sunday in May, we get ready for our church anniversary. The fourth Sunday, we will have a parking lot worshiping experience outside in the parking lot at 11 a.m. as we celebrate our graduates that are graduating from high school and college. Next week, y'all know what next week it is. It's Mother Day. Hey, Amen. It's Mother Day. We're going to celebrate our mothers next Sunday. And so we have a lot of things on tap for May. So please pay attention to the email. And let me say thank you to those that. Um, took part in Atlanta Rome District meeting just um, Saturday morning. Thank you so very much for, for doing that and it was on Zoom, it was really nice. Um, I do invite those to join us on Zoom with Sunday School as well as on Bible study. We've had a great discussion in the Book of Mark and I'm telling you, you, you missed the Wednesday, amen. That thing was explosive Wednesday, amen. So, so please join us on Bible study. And then we started something for the month of May and June. We're doing two worship services on the first and third Sunday in May. We started this morning at New Victory and we'll be doing it in June. And what a time we had this morning. Hey, man. I mean, God showed up over there at New Victory at 615 Cleveland Avenue. Hey, man. Early in the morning. And, and I was met with some great people over there. Hey, man, at 8 o'clock. So if you're not doing anything on the third Sunday, 
at 8 a.m. Please join us over there from 8 to 9. And, and we are opening up different options for people to worship so that they may have the space to worship. And it, it, it was great. And, and, I, and I thank God for the opportunity to do that. And we're going to continue to prayer and prayer for Reverend Norman as he recovers. I, I told him we're going to continue to pray for him. And we will support that ministry with all that we can to do here at Hosey. And, and, and then I take my seat. I want to thank my good friend and my brother Thomas Collins, amen, for being here today, amen. All the way from Gary, Indiana, amen. He said, I had to come check on you, Pastor, amen. So I thank God for him. And at this time, we have another selection by this great and powerful praise team. I need you to have a spoken word by your truman. Amen.
a year and a half later, looking to Psalm 138. Looking at David's prayer during a distressing time in his life. But you see, at the beginning of this powerful song, David thanked God <laughs> with his whole heart. <laughs> he thanked God for his steadfast love and faithfulness. And I know that today I have some witnesses that can truly say that we thank God <laughs> with our whole heart. That we thank God for his steadfast love and his faithfulness to us. Yes, sir. Verse 3, David declared that God answered his prayer. He said, on the day I call, <laughs> you answered me. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> you increased my strength of soul. And, and, and verse 4 and 6, he praised God for how great he is. Yes. And tells us about God's glory. But nevertheless, my brother and sister, David is thankful he is reverent in the face of an unnamed, distressing time. He said, though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve me against the wrath of my enemies. You stretch out your hand and your right hand deliver me. David declared that he was surrounded by trouble and that his enemy sought to kill him. So in his discretion time, he does the best thing that, that anybody can do. He, he begins to pray. Right. <laughs> you, you got to learn that even though your back may be up against the wall, that, that sometimes you just got to pray. Mm -hmm. And he reaches out for God's hand. Today I want you to know that even though we're in a distressing time, God's hand is still available. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can reach out too yeah. and hold on to God's unchanged hand. For you see, David is praying in, in view of what appeared to be some real distressing circumstances. Mm -hmm. And it's unclear by the text whether things were troubling him now or trouble was looming in the distance. Yeah. And that ought to speak to somebody this morning. Yeah. You ought to be praying. <laughs> but you ought to be praying not that you're in trouble now. Yeah. Or you could be in trouble now. Yeah. But you ought to be praying for trouble that is looming in the distance. Yeah. Ah, you can be up today. Yeah. And down tomorrow. Yeah. Matter of fact, you can be alive one second. And dead the next second. But David here, he's clear, he, he clearly singing out a prayer of relevant and thanksgiving, mindful of some of his discretion trouble. But I love the way the message Bible put it. If y'all would allow me to paraphrase it. Verse 7 and 8, it brings this sermon home. He said, when I walk into the thick of trouble, <laughs> good God, buddy. he said, keep me alive in the anger term, with one hand strike my foes, with the other hand save me. Finish what you started in me, God. Your love is eternal. Don't quit on me now. And today I can hear somebody saying the same thing. I don't know. Keep me alive, God, <laughs> in the anger turmoil of this world. With one hand, keep my enemies at a distance. And with the other hand, save me. Yeah. Think it's what you started in me, Lord, a long time ago. Yeah. Don't quit on me now, God. I don't know about anybody, but that's my prayer this morning. That, that Lord, that I'm in the world that is, is a thick of trouble. They're, they're shooting all around us. And Lord, I need you to know, I don't want you to quit on me now, Lord. I may not be what I should be. <laughs> But Lord, please don't quit on me now. I may not do what I ought to do. But Lord, please don't quit on me now. Ah, that ought to be your prayer this morning. Ah, I hear somebody saying, I hear you, Pastor. I, I understand what you're saying. But, but what is God's purpose for me? <laughs> when I'm experiencing a disgracing time. And that's what I hear. What, 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 what is God perfect for me? How, how do I keep going, mm. believing, 
hoping, trusting, praising, and thanking God when I'm surrounded by hostile forces. Uh, when I'm surrounded by things that are threatening my reality. Well, I'm glad they asked me. I'm glad. I'm glad, Facebook. I'm glad that somebody asked me because here's the reality as I see it. As we worship, mm -hmm. police brutality is at all time high. Over the last few weeks, you and I have witnessed more than one shooting after another. Yes, sir. Yes, it's a disgusting time. As we worship right now, over 576,000 people have lost their lives to coronavirus. Wow. Millions of people are dying all around the world. In India, they have declared a national disaster over there. Yes, it is a distressing time. And as we worship right now, the politician of Georgia has taken us back to the days of Jim Crow with the unjust voting laws. <laughs> Just last week I read where the state of Florida has now begun to follow suit. And many other states are trying to do the same thing. As we worship right now, there's a crisis on the southern border. <laughs> there are children that are being dropped over the border wall. Can you imagine a mother or father saying, I can't do nothing for my three-year-old, but drop them in the wilderness, get gone, <laughs> drop them over a fence, that maybe they might get picked up by immigration, that they might take care of them. I don't know about y'all, but I begin to wonder if America has a heart or not. Well, well. Yeah, this is some disgusting time. And of course, we all have our personal stories. We all have our struggles. We all have our conflicts. We all have our worry. Some people right now, as we worship, are walking in the thick of a health crisis for themselves. Some people right now, as we are worshiping in this place, are fighting for their lives over there in Redmond and Florida Hospital. There's some elderly person that's struggling to raise that grandchild or that other relative who parents have been lost to this virus, who parents have been lost to violence, who parents have been lost to other cases. There are some immigrants right now that are struggling or walking around trying to be accepted in our society. As we worship right now, there are people that are struggling to find work, to hold on to their job. As we worship right now, there are families being broke apart. There are some husband, some wife saying, I'm tired, I want to be born. As we worship right now, there are trouble. There are thick of trouble. So it's easy for us. It's easy for us to find identity with David this morning. We are mindful of our own prospects of walking into the thick of trouble. Yeah, like David, we know the trouble. <laughs> we all too familiar with trouble. David may have been writing from a personal experience, but I see that David has left us a personal note. Uh, he left us something about faith. <laughs> How to deal in distressing time. David declared in verse number eight that God will perfect that concerning him. And I questioned David this morning, why? Why would you say that statement? He said, Dear God is full of mercy. God is full of truth. That God is full of grace and love. He said, the songwriter said, the trouble don't last always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That joy will come in the morning. That if you just hang on, God will see you through. Yeah. And I need somebody somewhere to understand this morning that if you're praying in a distressing time, 
that that is the best place that you can be. <laughs> because God will see you through. But here's the point. And I'm getting ready to take my seat. Whether you're ready or not, you will face a distressing time. Mm. Trouble is not a border. Although trouble, some trouble can be prevented, but you still find yourself in trouble. And I've shared with the members at New Victory about the story of Jairus and how he was walking with Jesus and trouble still found him. Yeah. What am I saying? Jesus had good religion, <laughs> but trouble still followed him everywhere. Yeah. And you can have the best religion. <laughs> you can be the best Christian. <laughs> but I swear trouble will still find you. Yeah. So don't expect that because you're a Christian <laughs> that you will somehow be exempt from trouble. But I like what the message Bible says again. He said, in our prayer of discretion time, God, don't you quit on me now. <laughs> Help me, Lord. <laughs> Remember me, Lord. <laughs> Hear me, Lord. <laughs> Strengthen me, Lord. <laughs> Guide me over, Jehovah. <laughs> Protect me, Lord. <laughs> Complete in me what you started a long time ago. <laughs> yes, this ought to be your prayer this morning. Yeah, we become weak. We become frightened. We even become confused and tired. Yeah. We may even be tempted to give up. We may even be tempted to give up on ourselves and others. But I stop by to tell somebody that God who preserves, <laughs> God who sustains, <laughs> God who delivers is the same God <laughs> that David was praying to. <laughs> and if David can pray <laughs> in a distressing time, <laughs> then surely <laughs> you and I can pray in a distressing time. From Genesis to Revelation, God is presenting our Savior Jesus. <laughs> the Bible says <laughs> that he presented Jesus on the cross for our sins. <laughs> and despite the injustice, <laughs> despite the suffering that Jesus went through, the Bible said that God allowed him to stay on the cross <laughs> and deliver him for our sin. <laughs> but I want somebody to know <laughs> that if God can deliver Jesus for sin <laughs> and then raise him up on the third day, <laughs> don't you know that God can do the same for you? <laughs> Despite your description time, I thank God for Jesus. <laughs> because of Jesus, <laughs> I can get up. <laughs> I can face tomorrow. Matter of fact, John 16 to 13, Jesus said, in the world, you faithful, but take courage, because I have overcome the world, in good God Almighty. In other words, Jesus said, because of me, you can get up, because of me, you can overcome the world. So as I leave, continue to pray. As I leave, continue to call on God. As I leave, continue to pray and trust that God will begin in you and God will complete in you what he started a long time ago. So take his word and give God Almighty. I feel like preaching right now. Take that word that brings life. Take that word that brings healing. Take his word that gives you power of the enemy. Take his word that gives you power of the world. And just believe, if you believe, God will, I know the Lord will, God will see you through. Is there anybody in the sound of my voice? Know that God In God, I pray that whatever you're facing today, that you continue to hold on to God's word. I pray that you will receive some relief, not later, but immediately. That's my prayer. I know He can do it. I don't have no doubt in my mind. I know you can do it. You just got to believe. As we open up.
to certain doors. I can hear God saying, I'm not going to quit on you. But don't you quit on me. We work the both ways. Come to Christ. We're all in a distressing time. But what keeps us united is our prayers. <laughs> When they say prayers of the righteous are not much, I truly believe that. So I thank you. <laughs> Let me say it this way. I thank you to my grandmother, grandfather, my mom, my dad. I thank you. Because I know that the only way I got over, the only way I was overcome was because of your prayers. And I thank God for this church family. Because it's your prayer <laughs> that I feel every day. But that you come, 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 come. Come just as your own way. Give your life to Christ. We open up the church doors. I've been losing the first There was so much on
Let's start to amen. amen. As we go into our holy communion. The invitation is already been given for those that repent of your sin and are in love and charity with your neighbors. As we continue to go through this pandemic, we will continue to evolve and do things different. So today in Holy Communion, we will do three at a time to my left. We will stand over here with Pauline there. And when the time comes for you to come, we will put one, two, and three. And as you take the Holy Communion, then you will exit on my right and go around to your seat in that order. And that way we can do things orderly and make sure that we get everyone out of safety. I would now read the general confession. Almighty God, Father our Lord Jesus Christ, make of all things, judge of all men. We acknowledge we well our manifold sin and weakness, which we from time to time will increasingly have committed by thoughts, words, and deeds against our divine majesty to provoke the most death that wrap in the nation against us. We do earnestly repent, and our hearts are pleased our misdoing. To remember the them and grieve unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Most merciful Father. For our Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past. And grant that we may hear how to serve and please thee in the newness of life. To the honor and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. And all the God people say, Amen. Amen. I would now read the prayer of um, consecration. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy did give thy only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made their advice our place in himself once also a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, a place in satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death unto his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father. We most humbly beseech thee and grant that we, receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to the disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me likewise after supper he took the cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying drink ye all of this for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for you and for me for the remission of sin do this as oft as ye shall drink it and remembers of me. And all the God people say, Amen. Amen. I now take the bread, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I eat it and be thankful to my heart. Likewise, now I take the cup, which represents the blood that was shed for me and for me, for the remission of sin. I drink it and be grateful. At this time, I invite those that want to come to the altar. If you will come to my left.
time, we have this you will please to grab your bread and that represent the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you will grab that from time. Let us eat it, eat it together.
the church say amen. 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 Thank you all so very much. Thank you for working with us on our communion during the midst of this pandemic. Thank God again for this praise team. Thank God for the great musician. Amen. Thank God for you that are here and those that are watching us right now. Uh, as we always read the name on our prayer list, and today what I want to do is you you know me, know the name that we've been praying for. And so I wanted to add two names to our list this week. Uh, Mr. Wayman Robertson and Ms. Carol Robertson. I received their name late last week. And also Ms. Freddie Landrum, Ms. Martha Davis, um, Brother Ellis Kimber. Proud to announce he's at home. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Ms. Emma Watkins. And, and we've been praying for Brother Thomas Collins. He's here. Amen. Amen. Thank God for that. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so many others that are on our prayer list that are here or we talk to. And so I just want you to know that a day does not go by that I do not pray for every name on this list. And so if you want to add your name on this list, Please let us know. Um, we will do our best to get that information and get it out. So I thank God for all of those names. And every morning I wake up, I lay my hand on these names. Amen. I may not be able to touch you, but I believe, I know that God's word can touch you. Yes, <laughs> I see it in all time. His healing power. Yes. <laughs> It's just not it, it's just not here. His healing power is everywhere. Yes. So I pray for you. And I pray for your families. I pray that God will speak to you. And that you will allow God to continue to lead and guide you. Even though we're in a distressing time, God is still able. So I just tell y'all, don't give up. Don't give up. Trust the Lord. Yes, sir. Trust the Lord. As we stand at this stand at this moment. We will now get a benediction. And I pray that you have a blessed week. Amen. 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 Now to the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To the love of God. To the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. In us.